I have finally made it to the beautiful country of Lebanon! <laughs> that was good. A country that's been at the top of my bucket list for as long as I can remember. I actually changed my flight to come here last minute because my buddy Giorgio invited me to stay with his family. I can't wait to show you all the cool places, man. Look. Despite being one of the smallest countries in the Middle East and all of Asia, Lebanon debatably has the most diverse culture. It's multi-religious. There's a mosque, there's a church. Multi-ethnic and multilingual. People here speak at least three languages fluently. English, Lebanon, French, Liban, and Arabic. Lebanon. And there's kind of a fourth. We actually invented the Lebanese language. It's a mix of everything. In my humble opinion, the outside world has a huge misconception about Lebanon. What do you guys think others, outsiders like myself, American people, what do they think about Lebanon? A very unsafe country. Very unsafe we country? We camels here. Desert, yeah. Which we don't. They we don't think have, we have bombings every day. We don't have snow here. And then we don't. And we don't party. People say it's in the Middle East, so it must be Muslim, right? Nearly half of Lebanon is Christian, and you will see churches everywhere. So this lady just gave us these cards. What does it it's mean? It's a prayer for Virgin Mary. People say the climate is hot and deserted, right? It's green everywhere, with rolling hills and beautiful villages. Stunning beaches and mountains which have ski slopes in winter. Yes, it snows here. People say it's dangerous because of terrorism and war, right? The civil war ended 25 years ago, and it feels very safe on the streets. Even petty crime is rare. My other realizations about Lebanon is that the people are so nice and hospitable, similar to Iranians. Shukran. They will literally force you to eat. Blow it, blow it, blow it, it's hot. <laughs> mm. oh, yeah. And they're always looking out for you. My Instagram has been flooded with messages from Lebanese people offering me a hand. Lebanon's nature is stunning. Giorgio and I got lost in the mountains a few times. We made it to the top of Lebanon, well kind of, looking at the amazing views on the countryside. Lebanon is so small that it's more like a village than a country. I'm not sure if it's a bad thing or a good thing, but if I ask someone about his family name or his name maybe, I can know exactly where is he from, his background, and everything about him. In addition, the history dates back to the very beginning of human existence. Welcome to Biblos oldest continuously inhabited city in the world. This city is really impressing me. You got the beautiful sea behind me. You have all these ancient ruins that kind of remind me of Rome or Greece. And then in this direction, you have a big hill or a big mountain with all these beautiful traditional houses. It really doesn't get any better than this. So we start with this wall. The Phoenician actually built it. Then came the Roman and built this castle under us. And then came the Turkish and built this traditional house. And shall we talk about nightlife? There's a party happening in Beirut seven nights a week with more bars and clubs than you could possibly imagine. Some of the best DJs in the world come and play techno and underground um, deep house. The shisha culture is amazing and you might just be surprised. So we decided to go big or go home in Lebanon. Ordered a shisha with a watermelon on top. I can't believe I've gone three minutes without telling you about the food. It's absolutely fantastic and it's not only my opinion. Lebanese cuisine was ranked as the world's best by Travel and Leisure in 2016. You can't come to Lebanon without eating hummus, the original hummus I mean, uh, tabule and wara'arish, vine leaves. My conclusion to this video is that nobody seems to get it unless you've been here. Whenever we hear about one bombing or terrorist attack, we immediately think it's dangerous. We rarely see Lebanon portrayed positively on the news. But as I've seen over the last four days, there's a very exciting world happening in this tiny country and if you've never been here, then I highly recommend it. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.